Was this genocide? Some say yes, Turkey has always said no. Regardless, the deaths of Armenians at the hands of the Ottoman authorities are now brought to the screen almost a hundred years later. This is film based on real events and it is strong. Death, war and displacement, all big at the Biennale this year. Movies like The Look of Silence, about the mass killings in Indonesia, bringing a stark dose of reality and sadness to a festival steeped in glamorous escapism and smiles. This place could not be any further away from a war zone, and yet the horrors of conflict are very much on the minds of people here, because war is the dominant theme. Of the 20 films competing for the top prize, The Golden Lion, a quarter of them tell tales of conflict at some place, at some time. But the directors, the producers say, no matter how painful these tales are, they are stories that simply must be told. Here we are in a time where there's unspeakable atrocities taking place in the Middle East, in Gaza, in the Ukraine. We're in a very frightening moment. And I think that it is understandable that filmmakers are, and as artists, are trying to, to bring those, bring, make, help us face those truths. The Good Kill brings things back to the recent day, a story of a US drone operator dropping bombs on Afghanistan. World War II is tackled with a look at Japan's role in fires on the plane. Time has passed, but conflicts remain, and the feeling here is that cinema has a responsibility to make man learn from his mistakes. The purpose of art, I think, is to force us or seduce us or invite us to face our most painful truths. We seem incapable of learning from history. We seem as a species, we seem unable to really heed the message of never again, not in the sense of never again to us, but never again to anybody. The war in Algeria is told through the eyes of a teacher in Far From Men. These are movies with fighting running through them, but told from the human side, the consequences of killing. How do you ask a man why he ordered your brother to be murdered? A question few of us would ever have to ask. A question cinema asks for us, regardless of how painful the answer may be. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, at the Venice Film Festival.